child deduction survivor Elizabeth Smart is speaking out here in the Brazos Valley. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Amanda Kenny. Tonight Smart was at the Healthy Women 50th anniversary celebration put on by the College Station Medical Center. As you might remember, Smart was kidnapped in 2002 from her Salt Lake City home when she was just 14 and held captive there for nine months. She now travels all over the country sharing her story and how she overcame the hardship. KAG's HD News reporter Jenny Walsh spoke with Elizabeth before her speech tonight. She joined us now in studio. Jenny, what is Elizabeth's message to women in the Brazos Valley? Amanda, Elizabeth wants people to remember that whatever it is you're faced with in life, you always have a choice of how you handle it. And she chose to survive. Beautiful, poised, witty, and courageous. All words used to describe 25-year-old Elizabeth Smart, who 10 years ago returned home after she was held hostage for nine months. I feel so incredibly blessed in my life to be where I am today that I feel like this is something I can, I can do to make a difference. Smart chooses to take the positive road and not look back on what was using her experiences to get her message across. It's so important to spread a message of hope and even more than that, try to reach out to all of the different victims, whether it's a victim of sexual abuse, verbal abuse, physical abuse, but just to help them to know that they're not alone. Elizabeth says what helped her know she wasn't alone during her kidnapping was thinking of her ever loving and accepting family. Thoughts that gave her a reason to fight. You're not immune to bad things happening to you, but with that being said that you don't have to allow it to ruin your life either. And Elizabeth definitely hasn't. Listening to her mom's advice the day she returned home that being happy is the best punishment for her captor. Finding those things that made me happy before I was ever kidnapped and going back to them has helped me. As has speaking out and letting her listeners know there's always hope. I love it and I, I feel like I'm able to make a difference. Elizabeth worked to create Amber Alert programs and victim survivor guides to help others overcome their abuse. She's now married to a Scottish man and still enjoys music and horseback riding.